Well, Dr. Andrew Seely is the Director of Advanced Formation at the Institute for Catholic, Catholic Liberal Education, and he is joining us now to talk about the Institute's new book, Renewing Catholic Schools, How to Regain a Catholic Vision in a Secular Age. And thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Very good to be here. Uh, maybe start out by telling us a little bit about the Institute for Catholic Liberal Education. Catholic education, of course, has a solid history in the United States. And um, maybe talk about how we came to this state where we have to sort of regain that Catholic vision. Okay. Uh, the Institute was formed in 1999 to provide resources and teacher formation, uh, drawing from the Catholic traditions, though attuned to what's going on today and what we learned, what we learned today. Uh, we started with the Catholic Textbook Project, which has now a complete history series and science series for schools. And then in 2005, I joined the Institute to begin the teacher formation side. And we've been uh, focusing on drawing on the wisdom, the magisterial teaching, and the experience of Catholic teachers and Catholic educators to help renew schools under that light, under the light of the church. And um, it's a, it's a great question to ask, how come we need renewing in the Catholic schools? And I think there are a couple of, we do talk about it more in our book, but a couple of uh, key elements. I think the success of the Catholic schools uh, in the early 20th century really came from the religious brothers and sisters who made up the heart of the, of the school. And um, they, were, they were such a beautiful community presence there. And they witnessed to the church and the fullness of the Catholic faith all the time in their teaching. And they drew on, they didn't have really so much unique educational theories. They just drew on the best of the public school teaching, which at that time was not so far separate. It, was, it had Christian elements and drew upon the Western traditions that were very Christian in background. So they just drew upon that and, and they did it really well. Um, but then as... In the 60s, as the religious started to leave, and as the secular world became more secular, first very job-oriented, very very much just training for vocational uh, uh, work, and um, also then became even more aggressively anti-Christian and materialist. Um, the Catholic schools didn't really change and didn't didn't uh, didn't know what to do other than sort of follow along with what the secular world was was doing. I think it's become much more evident to the Catholic teachers and the superintendents and bishops that we have to go in a new direction. And this is really a great opportunity for us to turn back to our own traditions, our own uh, full Catholic vision of education and make that happen in our schools and especially help the lay teachers to come to gain that, that kind of pastoral community vision that really made the, the Catholic schools under the sisters and brothers so good. Yeah, I think, you know, those are some excellent points and certainly my experience in, you know, Catholic education elementary school that Kevin shares. Um, and some of the things that you've talked about, how are we going to measure that, like that sense of community? So what would you say will be some indicators that we're successfully achieving some renewal of our Catholic schools? Well, I'm glad you asked me that, <laughs> um, because right at the time I joined the Institute, there was this uh, wonderful book that was brought out called The Holy See's Teaching on Catholic Schools by Archbishop Michael Miller. And in it, this is from 2007, he proposed five benchmarks for Cath that draw drawing on the magisterial teaching of the church on Catholic schools. He proposed five benchmarks that uh, Catholic educators should keep in mind in terms of judging how well they're doing. So there's, um, they need to have their, they need to see that their education is ordered to forming good citizens, especially citizens for heaven, and to uniting uh, our students with Christ, for them to see their education as a journey more deeply into union with Christ and preparing them for heaven. They need to experience um, joy in their communities and joy in their academic work. And the teachers need to be witnesses, see themselves as witnesses of Christ to their students. And then uh, very importantly, there needs to be a Catholic worldview throughout the curriculum, not just, not just mass and religion class, but we really have to have a Catholic vision in all the areas of study. 
Yeah, I, I agree with that. I certainly know from my experience that Catholic teachings and that kind of Catholic culture, if you will, uh, was really integrated into every single subject that we had. Not that, you know, we had lackluster geography because of it, right. but sort right. of, you know, it introduced that into every aspect of our lives. How can people learn more about the Institute and uh, get a copy of the book? Uh, that's great. Uh, we have our website, catholicliberaleducation.org, and that has uh, lots about us, and we've just redone it, and we've introduced a beautiful new Christ the Teacher logo that we're very proud of. So that's they can beautiful. find out about that book there and other, other materials that we have. That's great. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. I know you mentioned you're also associated with uh, Aquinas College, so you may be visiting Massachusetts soon now that you've introduced yes. this, you know, um, God's country uh, campus, so I'm excited for you. Yes. Thanks so much for taking the time to be with us, Doctor. We appreciate it. Okay, Thanks. my pleasure.